Hello there, Taurus. So you just had a full moon in your sign. And I feel like what it does is that some of the areas that you have been kind of sweeping under the rug or things that, you know, you're just like, oh, it's not really that bad. I can, you know, delay it or procrastinate it on fixing it or doing something about it. Another day, I feel like that energy um, all kind of got illuminated, things that you just didn't want to deal with they came to a culmination and it came to the point where you actually had to do something about it because emotionally i feel like it was just this dark cloud hanging over you i feel some of you are taking you know the more proactive approach to get these things resolved get things fixed um, within your household, uh, sweeping things away, getting rid of clutter, getting rid of junk, doing some uh, some types of home maintenance or home repairs as well is what I'm feeling. Um, I do see an energy of excavation around your house as well. So I don't know if people are digging, if there is uh, work that's done around the neighborhood or the area, I do see drainage pipes, um, possibly like electrical wiring as well for some reason if they're buried underneath uh, i feel like some excavation happening in your environment and i do feel like it's a little bit disruptive but things need to be unearthed every once in a while so that they can be repaired okay so it's almost like um not treating the symptoms but you know getting to the root of the matter so that people or you can fix it and then so that it doesn't aggravate it doesn't become a bigger problem down the line okay so it's a very uncomfortable time of the year for you because you know once again the sun is in your opposite sign in scorpio so it does bring out a lot of things that you didn't want to deal with before but you feel like you had no choice and you have to take care of them now so staying on the forefront of that is going to be a lot better for you rather than you know delaying it further and getting swept along with that energy because that's when it can feel a little bit painful okay um, so it is going to be a little bit of an uncomfortable month and uh, I wanted to wait until after the reading, uh, the full moon, to start on this reading for you. First of all, I was extremely busy, so I apologize. And then on top of that, I wanted to, you know, wait for this full moon to kind of just settle down a little bit before I get into the reading for you guys. Um, what I'm also feeling is, I, I feel like many of you have been going through a phase where you were very very indulgent so this is kind of like indulging in things to kind of forget or you know to to sweep the things under the rug but then indulging in other things to kind of i i want to say compensate for some of the areas that might have been lacking that's what it feels like to me and uh, i feel like you know jumping into the month of november you're going to be a lot more disciplined. You're going to be a lot more like proactive and, and take charge. And, you know, you're not really dragging your feet anymore. You're making changes. You're making very positive strides in your life. And you're trying to move forward a little bit less. It's, it's almost like taking everything that you need uh, to move forward. So I feel like there's still some baggage that you're unable to leave behind. And that's okay. That's okay, because you have from now until your birthday time to kind of sort things out, okay? So you have for approximately five more months to kind of um, wean things away that you no longer need. So I'm not too worried about you. And uh, on top of that, structurally, you're built very, very strong. So I feel like you can handle a lot of things thrown at you. You can handle bringing physically or uh, physical baggage or emotional baggage into the next phase because I don't feel that, you know, you're going to buckle under the pressure. So you're built in a very sturdy, strong way so that you can, you know, navigate the energies of whatever is thrown at you without faltering okay so i'm i've never worried so much about you guys um i do feel though there is some um household situation that's going to be kind of uh, bursting forth okay and uh, it is the holiday season here in the united states so i feel like this energy might be you know coupled with the energy where you're dealing with family members but i feel like this even if you don't celebrate thanksgiving even if you don't have um you know family get togethers i still feel this 
energy around, you know, disruption in the household. Um, things that you thought, you know, were already squared away, they needed to be re-examined a second time. And I'm also feeling as well, if you're living with uh, significant others, uh, a lot of issues when it comes to like dealing with in-laws, dealing with problems coming in from your significant others' families, problems where you have to kind of nip things in the bud. And so that's going to be creating a little bit of discord between you and your partner as to how you're handling these things and what you're doing to um, kind of like maintain um, harmony within both both households but at the same time you know uh, problem solving and not letting that energy get to you or affect your relationship with your significant other so you're straddling a fine line here and I feel like you do take it on take it upon yourself to kind of like you know be the the person that resolves other people's problems and it can feel a little bit frustrating if you are unable to do that for whatever reason or if people are resisting you or you know you're trying to help them and they're refusing so my advice here when it comes to family members overall is you know take it with a grain of salt um, you can offer advice but they're gonna do what they're gonna do and a lot of the times you know when when it's family we usually know family members for a really long time, for as long as we've been alive, right? So then we know how to push each other's buttons. And we also have emotional, um, I wanna say like em emotional connections with them too. We want what's best for them. And oftentimes we see them as an extension of ourselves. So we want them to do things that we suggest. And they're not going to listen. If they're not going to listen, they're not going to listen. Okay, so just uh, be careful about that. Um, you have some very, very positive cards. I'm really glad to see this. And uh, I'm glad I waited. Um, let me just talk first of all, as well. Um, the last thing that I'm sensing here is... Let me talk about the work front. Um, I feel like you have co-workers that you get along with, okay? Um, so the this is work, and this has been coming out for a lot of signs. I feel like a lot of people are thinking about, you know, we're nearing the end of 2017. Where do I want to be? What positive steps am I taking? And where do what do I need to do in order to get where I'm going? So I do feel a lot of people overall across the board. Uh, this card has been coming out for about four signs now, and I haven't done you know the entire twelve uh, zodiac signs. It's coming out for you, whereas it indicates this is a job. At first glance, it doesn't look like it's everything that you've ever wanted. It's not like this, where it's beautiful and shiny and big, and it's going to revolutionize you know the way you work, the money you make, the lifestyle. Uh, when it comes in the re in the reverse position, it's be the beginning of something. You might need to nurture it, foster it, take care of it a little bit, and then it's going to have you know a lot of potential. But when you're first looking at this, you're kind of wondering, is this you know is this it? I, it, I, I feel like some of you are kind of. Um, turning your nose up at it, thinking that, oh, it's not the best. I'm going to wait for something better. I'm going to wait for something else. However, if you go ahead and go with this opportunity, many of you are going, your life will be revolutionized. You're going to come in contact with amazing people. You're really going to enjoy the work that you do. And all, all the while, I feel like it is something that is divinely guided that is coming in right now because you need a change okay status quo is not really working anymore so i feel like you're being rewarded here and if this is not coming through for you uh, already i feel from now until the end of this year it's going to be making itself known this card usually indicates the end of a cycle, like the end of a year, the end of a decade, the end of a century, something coming through. And I feel like, you know, its presence is going to be available to you from now until the end of this year, the December time frame. And so moving ahead with this energy, I feel would be very, very amazing for you. So don't turn your nose up at it. Um, just take it 
and I do feel as well contracts being signed okay contracts being signed where you're going to be shifting from one location one job to the next some of you might even be moving for this job and I also feel there's a lot of uh, energies here about joining up with another person possibly a business partner a colleague or some some type of a job where there is a lot of I want to say partnership or camaraderie or maintaining a good working relationship with another person is front and center and very very important to the success of this new job so I feel like you're breaking things are breaking open for you and I mentioned that with the Scorpio people as well so this is a card heavily about partnering up with people signing a new contract and I do see a lot of business partnerships that are made available for you for this month um, some of you are self-employed okay so this is self-employment having the money at your disposal um, and I feel like this is something that you know you worked really hard at to kind of like build up from the ground up this isn't both of these are very very extravagant energy so when I mention overindulging overspending um, overeating overindulging in general mainly because you have this abundance at your disposal okay you have a lot of money and uh, you're saving it up it's accumulating in the bank or it's accumulating in your house and you're just like I feel like I deserve nice things and you do like nice things you do like expensive fine things as well so I want you to just be a little bit careful about this you know save for a rainy day as well because both of these cards indicates money coming in very very fast but the nature of fast money is that we do tend to take it for granted and we don't we might not value it as much if we you know if it comes in so fast rather than slaving away at it if it just comes in in large quantities in you know short amounts of time we might overspend or we might even um, I want to say like downplay downplay is important so being a little bit more um, thrifty when it comes to spending I feel like that's gonna serve you well okay all through from now all through 2018 as well into the new year so this is just something I, I'm, I'm seeing here and I want you to be a little bit careful about okay it's not um, something I'm completely worried about because I do feel an alleviation when it comes to your overall financial situation this is basically being cast out feeling um, that financial strain in the reverse position is basically overcoming that coming out from that and creating wealth for yourself so I do see a lot of potential for wealth generation for those of you who are self-employed I do feel as well uh, new jobs that are coming in you're looking at your self-employment prospects and you know you were the sole owner or the sole proprietor of some type of an entrepreneurial endeavor and you're looking at this where you're just like I have so much flexibility you could also be working under another person but you're thinking I have so much flexibility I have I'm like a shoe in for a promotion and so this new job that's coming in you might you know weigh out your options and you might not feel like it's enough for you but I do feel it is a lot more stable and I feel like it can grow just as well if you choose to shift gears or shift location and move into this okay so um, you have options that are available for you but I do feel many of you are going to be shifting I'm seeing a lot of people bringing their work home and I'm seeing like at the end of the workday instead of clearing the table instead of just being like okay I'm clocking out I'm done with all the work I see a lot of people bringing their work home um, and then bringing their tools their supplies so I'm seeing like a big box where you're hauling stuff from one location to the next and I'm also sensing as well that can feel a little bit tiring okay like I mentioned before you're built very sturdy most of you are very 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 strong solid footed and you know you don't really trip or you you're not very clumsy you don't run into objects you don't bruise easily but I do sense this element here about you know having to bring work home at the end of the day 
and that can cut into your free time. It's, it's like even if you clock out, you still have work that you're doing behind the scenes. And so you're aiming for something that is a little bit more clear and finite where your hours are at the office and then at the end of the day you clock out and you don't have to worry about the maintenance, the upkeep, the behind the scenes stuff um, that you have to do that really cuts into your hours when you're not at work. So you might be thinking about, you know, like this is the month where you actually sit down, even though the money is very good where you're at, you're kind of sitting down doing the math, dividing all the amount of time, or, well, the money that you're making by the hours that you're working. And you might realize that, you know what, I thought I was getting paid a lot, but I might not be because it's really cutting into my um, free time. So I might shift gear into something else where, you know, hours are a lot more structure, where your responsibilities are a lot more rigid and you don't have to deal with things behind the scenes after work. Um, I'm feeling a combative energy here in the work environment. I feel you get along really well with your coworkers. This is kind of like having a boss that is very hands off. You know, he he or she gives you all this all the training, all the skills necessary for you to do their your job. And whenever you run into problems, that's when you come to that person. That person doesn't micromanage. They don't hover, breathe down your neck and make sure you're doing your job. So there's a great degree of autonomy, a great degree of trust where the other person trusts that you're going to be coming to work. You have a lot of freedom as well in the work environment where you can take, you know, longer lunches, longer breaks, and you can clock in later. So f work flexibility, I feel, is really good. But for whatever reason, if you're dealing with people who are very, very I want to say like downtrodden and they're coming to you kind of like in crises all the time. It's like one crisis after another, even though you're really good at problem solving and to alleviate tension and um, alleviate tension and, and, and disputes and helping the other person resolve their issues. It does take its toll on you. So I do feel that many of you uh, possibly wondering about, you know, new positions that are opening up. Um, you're very well liked in your current work environment, okay? And I, I've been feeling that for quite some time. It's like you know the ins and outs and you do your work very methodically and very thoroughly. So people do look at you as if, you know, you're kind of like the expert in your field. They trust your expertise. They trust your guidance. But I feel like you want something more out of life. You want that this is the nine of pentacles. You want that last piece of the puzzle, that last piece that can bring you that total emotional um, and financial abundance. So this is made available here. And if we take on this opportunity, I feel like, you know, new openings will be made available, new contracts signed, as well as new opportunities for you to, you know, seek that state of completion, okay? Once again, there's a lot of family gathering. This is overall kind of like the 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 calling it's it's almost like contact made with family members and people that you might not have seen for a really long time people coming out of the woodwork because of the holiday season or even opportunities um, to reconnect with old family members and people from your past some of them you have definitely outgrown them this is a card about childhood innocence. And when we look at it in the reverse position, it's almost like, you know, yes, we had a great history together. Yes, we grew up together. But are we still even on the same page? Are we still interested in the same things? Are we still having, you know, meaningful conversations with one another? Or are we at a point where we're, we have drifted apart? And so I feel like some of you are kind of looking at this and trying to reassess where you fit in with the rest of the family members are they still you know um are, are there still you know common grounds are there still commonalities that will allow you know a harmonious relationship or a worthy relationship where you can still learn and expand and grow with each other or are we at a stalemate where we're not really you know seeing eye to eye and every conversation becomes a big discussions and a big dispute so I do feel that element here but you are going to be triumphant moving past it because I do see as well you 
a lot of earth signs um i feel especially for you guys and capricorn you do see the best in people you do see both sides of the story and i do sense as well um you might not like somebody but you don't you know um superimpose your opinions your beliefs onto them and you try to see them as like um a whole person where you don't try to you know um, single them out or or attack them and i feel like you're still able to do that you're still able to navigate the energy so that even if you know that you they might not see eye to eye with you you can still agree at a solution to make things work um, i feel for those of you who have a business partner okay there is an element as well, if you've known each other the, for a really long time, if you've known your business partner for a really long time, um, and you know, this is somebody that you trust, the trust is definitely still there. But there are a lot of creative differences, a lot of creative differences. So if we're talking about business partnerships, this is a card about complementarity Two people who are very, very different, but they're able to kind of like compensate where the other person's lacking. One person can step in and fulfill whatever the other person's lacking. So there's a great sense of trust. There's a great sense of mutual understanding and seeing the best in, in the other person. And I feel like as a partnership, it can work really well. This is like working together with disparate energies, disparate um, personalities as well. But if you've known them for a really long time, you might realize that one person, one uh, partner might want to expand and it possibly could be your partner rather than you because you are a fixed sign. I feel like one person wants to, you know, expand, uh, expand further, scope out competition, uh, be a lot more innovative using technology, using social media, using other means in order to expand the business. And I feel like there's a lot of resistance coming from your end. And as a result of it, um, you're not really sure if, I just feel like it's happening too fast for you and, and you're, you, you need, you're still biding your time, you're still not ready. And I also feel as well, you know, working in a partnership is kind of difficult for you because in the past, you've always been kind of like that um, lone wolf, you know, you're able to be nice and cordial with other people. But I feel like when it comes to work, you like to do things your own way. So having a partnership, I feel it's a little bit difficult to navigate this energy. It doesn't come automatically. I feel like there's still some tweaking that needs to be done. There's still some discussions that needs to be had. And I do feel like the solidifying of a, a partnership when it comes to work, that's going to be instrumental for you. The end of this year, moving into 2018, 2019, and I feel that you're going to be making very good money. Okay, so if we're talking about like um, self-employment, I feel here two people where one person has like one person is like the ideas person and it might be your partner one person has all the plans has all the ideas but they might lack the ability to follow through whereas you're the consistent one you're the one that follows the idea follows the lead of the other person and there is a little bit of a reversal here at the end of the spread where this person this ideas person is moving too fast is wanting to implement too many changes and i feel like you're still lagging behind and you're still resisting and uh, if we're talking about you know where you were self-employed before and now you have to share that revenue stream with another person it's going to diminish a little bit but i feel that it's going to build up wealth it's going to help you achieve a lot of success okay um the relationship sector let me talk a little bit about relationships because I feel like there are major decisions breaking open here when it comes to relationships and you might be assessing the viability of a relationship. I do see many of you being very, very financially worried yourself if you're able to make it because I do sense that you are very generous when it comes to the people that you love, like the ones that you truly, truly, truly care for and love. And um, you might take it upon yourself to kind of like 
bear the financial burden of a relationship where you start to feel like, am I making enough? Am I able to take care of my partner? Am I taking able to take care of my spouse, my kids, my home? And so there's a lot of pressure. There's a lot of pressure here when it comes to your financial foundation. Is it solid enough? Is it able to sustain, you know, uh, shifting energies when it comes to, you know, economic uncertainties, for example. And I also feel as well, a lot of savings that needs to happen for many of you. If you are planning to start a family, if you're planning to kind of break away from the family unit to get your own space. So there's a lot of that in the picture as well. Okay. Um, you have a really, really good spread here, Taurus, but I do feel some of you are, are very, very resistant when it comes to making changes and as well and you know it's the nature of a fixed sign and as an aquarius of another fixed sign i understand that it can be a little bit scary it can feel very daunting but move ahead and um you're gonna have a lot of success okay so don't fear it make the necessary changes incorporate technology rely on technology if you need to because i feel like technology is going to be your friend so if you stay on the forefront of that i feel like it's going to bring you leap and bounds beyond your competitors so incorporating that uh, innovating a little bit rather than just you know dragging your feet doing the same things over and over again innovating innovating is going to allow you to leapfrog into a i want to say like a more um it's a more it's a more dynamic it's a more dynamic work environment, okay? So I wish you all the best and I'll be back for your love reading, okay? Take care, bye-bye.